The COP26 Green Zone provided a great opportunity for the public to interact in a meaningful way with companies such as those who provide their energy utilities. I caught up with SSE to find out more about their operations and how they are moving them towards a net zero economy. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at how the energy sector is moving forward with opportunities to develop a net zero delivery of electricity to our homes with wide ranging solutions to the generation and storage of energy generated from renewable sources such as solar and wind power and how to support our informed use of electricity in our homes and businesses. I spoke to Tunde Alawe, Director of Smart Energy Systems Sectors at SSE, who gave a whirlwind tour of their Green Zone stand and the SSE developments in the energy sector. So the SSE stand is really about showing what SSE are trying to do to achieve net zero by 2050. If we start here, Dogger Bank is one of our biggest offshore wind farms. And if you come to our stand, you can also sign one of the turbines. So what we're trying to show here is how we start with renewable generation. And that's one of the key aspects of getting to net zero. This is going to be the world's largest offshore wind. So it's a really good opportunity to come down, be a part of it and have your name embodied in history. And then we go over to here is one of the projects we're building to make sure we can utilize as much wind as possible. Now you can see the kids are using it at the moment, but Cory Glass is an old form of storage. So what it is effectively, pump storage is a way for us to take the excess energy from the wind when we can't use it. And it allows us to use kinetic energy to pump water up to a high level and that stores the energy. Now when we need to release it, we release that water back into the lock. So if you come to the stand, you'll be able to see how it works, give you some information about their scheme, when it's being built. And this is a live model that moves up and down when you press the buttons. We come over to here as well. We've done a project as well because we realize that it's going to be important to deploy wind technology, but we still have old thermal assets and thermal generation is going to be critical going forward. But we still have to think about how the environmental sustainability that's going to affect our future. So this is a game about carbon capture and storage. What we're doing at the moment is we're investing heavily on a carbon capture and storage technology. This game is just going to show you how that technology works, some of the key metrics for it, and just gives you an ability to understand how your everyday actions affect your carbon footprint and how we balance wind generation with our thermal generation, capturing that storage and go across. And then finally, I think that... Sorry, Charlie, you got the iPad? Thanks. And then I think the final piece of the puzzle is we're doing an AR. So once we've generated energy, we've stored it, we're using thermal to balance it, we have to look at the sites where we're using energy. So we've built an AR representation of the blue zone, and this is looking about smart cities. So we're trying to understand when you have campuses and businesses, how can you save energy there? How can you generate local energy? How can you be flexible with that energy? So if you come to look at our stand, we can show you some of the technologies we're deploying, how we're affecting the SEC. And this is all based off real data. So if we go through here, we can find out more about the technologies. We built a digital twin. A digital twin is effectively, we've modeled the real sex center, Scottish, Scottish events campus. And we've actually used the real data from the building to build a digital twin. This allows us to understand the energy consumption minute by minute. In this digital twin, you can see the hydro, the armadillo. When we select this, we can go into detail so we can understand what is the energy consumption minute by minute, electricity, heat, and then that allows us to start to model the solutions in the digital space. If we add solar, we get to 51% reduction, heat pumps, and various technologies. This makes sure that before we deploy this tech, we have a roadmap for the whole of the campus and the buildings. And this is the way you get to net zero by digitally designing and then implementing. So our stand generally is just about showing the journey from how we produce energy cleanly to how we make sure that people and businesses are using energy cleanly. And that's what SSE's net zero journey is all about. Thanks. 
To summarise, there are many positive developments within the energy sector, as shown by SSE, who are leading the way with the development of wind farms, hydro pump storage, again to understand our own carbon emissions, and the use of augmented reality to model energy usage. I am sure that we can expect further developments from SSE and other energy companies in the increased development of renewable energy and deployment of storage solutions to support the ebb and flow of renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. Many of us will look towards the energy sector for significant developments to further reduce their carbon emissions. But we should each look internally at our contributions to carbon emissions so that we can reduce our energy usage and carbon emissions by simple actions like switching off lights and turning down the thermostat on our central heating. Further information on this episode is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. And whilst you're there, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. If this video has helped you to understand more about the energy sector and its developments to support the UK's net zero journey, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.